I'm on a list, baby girl. There is all kinds of crazy news people out here. You're a rock star, man. You will never pay for another drink as long as you live. Captain Whitaker is a real American hero. This is Hugh Lang. He's an attorney from Chicago. Why do we need a lawyer? You don't remember having your blood drawn the night of the crash? You had alcohol in your system. That could be life in prison. Hi, I'm Winslow. Yeah. I'm Gibson. And we're at the Santa Barbara Middle School Team Press, and we're here with... John Gatons. So you've been known to do many different types of films, many different roles in the film, actor, producer, director, writer. So uh, which of these uh, have you enjoyed the most, and which uh, genre have you worked with, the, or which genre do you enjoy working with? Um, I really like sports movies. I've made a lot of sports movies and uh, I grew up, when I was your guys age, I played a lot of sports. So I think that was kind of probably, you know, sports are really dramatic, like even one specific game, there's like rises and falls inside one game. So I think that was the first thing that was kind of my intro to like telling the story inside of something. So, and I loved sports movies when I was growing up. So I think that was kind of my first little like intro into the movie biz was the fact that people actually made sports movies. You moved to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career. I did. What then pushed you into writing? Um, you know, I think it was, I was playing in a poker game with a friend of mine from college, and he said, you know, you're such a funny guy, you should you should write a screenplay because he was kind of working as like he was working for a producer at the time and he said you know when you get broke enough I'll, I'll pay you to write a screenplay so I called him the next day and said uh, I'm broke enough and uh, I have an idea so I pitched him an idea and uh, we kind of came up with this script that I kept writing over the next couple of months and ultimately we sold it to Disney and that job got me a job rewriting a movie called Varsity Blues and then I stayed on that movie through production and that was really fun and that kind of kicked off my career as a writer. So we learned the day after you graduated from college you drove all the way from New York to Los Angeles. I did. So uh, what motivated you to do this? Well another little piece of that story is that the summer after my junior year at Vassar College in New York I had come to LA and spent a summer I took a few classes at UCLA but I was really trying to get to know Los Angeles because I thought I want to be in the movie business and if I do I need to be in Los Angeles so I had to see if I would like Los Angeles and if I could figure out how to get around it so that was part of it so like as soon as school ended I was like I knew I was going to Los Angeles so I just made that long drive a saying at our school is go with gratitude is there someone you wanted to ultimately thank for the making of this film Wow what a great expression Go with gratitude. Well, I'll tell you, there's a lot of people I I'm grateful. I'm grateful to. One is a Santa Barbara resident, which would be Robert Zemeckis. And uh, without him, the movie wouldn't have gotten made. So he was someone that, when he finally got his hands on the script, he had a really big part in making the movie happen. So between him and uh, Denzel Washington, I have enormous gratitude for those guys. Cool. All right. Thanks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, also, uh, come on, Winslow. Give me your hardest question. <laughs> These have been hard, but I heard you guys were like the crushers. So I need like, I need to feel like I really went through the gauntlet. Uh, so your latest film uh, was different than many of the uh, films that you've done in your uh, career so far. True. So. Uh, how do you choose what stories you want to write for? That's a really good question. This one was um, a personal story. I had kind of a personal into the story and you know I have a fear of flying so it was like something that was kind of fascinating and scary to me and I didn't write this one uh, you know as a job for anybody in particular. I wrote it for myself so I took 10 years to write this script. I kept picking it up and putting it down and I'd make movies in between. So it was one of those things that was kind of my passion project. It was the thing that I really loved that I was writing even though I really thought ultimately it would never get made. So it was one of those one of those things that it was different than everything I had done. At the same time, Thank you. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have one more question? You sure? Wait. Did I? No one could have landed that plane like I did.